Good morning, and today I'm going to be explaining to you the sterilization process through an ultrasonic cleaner and then through a autoclave. And for the ultrasonic cleaner, we're always going to have to wear, well, for any sterilization process, we're going to wear our PPEs. So one of them is our protective gown our mask because um the chemicals and then protective eyewear just in case the chemicals go into our eyes or anything sharp um and then utility gloves as well like i said um so we don't poke ourselves with anything sometimes the chemicals that um we can be using to sterilize can get um can be really toxic to our skin so of course we're not going to want to put that stuff onto our skin and for the ultrasonic cleaner it looks like this The ultrasonic cleaner removes debris and um, bio burden particles. And there's a little lid on the ultrasonic cleaner. We're going to go ahead and lift it. Make sure that the solution that we will be using to sterilize the instruments are um, is filled to the manufacturer recommended um, recommended level. And then we're going to put our instruments into a basket or a cassette. It should look like this. And we're going to place the basket into the ultrasonic cleaner. We're going to close the lid. And this should take about 5 to 15 minutes um, for it to complete. And then when the cycle, or actually before, we can put... Um, lubricant on the dental hand pieces or like a rone press so oh sorry a a rust prone so the um so the instruments don't rust easy especially like the metal instruments and we're gonna go ahead and set it to five to fifteen minutes we're gonna close the lid and then when the cycle is done we're gonna take out the cassette or the basket we're gonna run it under water at an angle so if you have a basket like this and you're running it underwater all the water might um splash and get on your face or your clothes and that's why if it does we wear ppes and then we're going to empty the basket of the sterilized instruments onto a towel and then we're going to dry them and when that's done we're going to store them and so we have to store them in a clean dry environment and then we'll rotate the new um sterilized with the old sterilized so we don't use the new ones and we keep the old sterilized packages in the back we can rotate them and then if you see that the package is damaged or torn or ripped we can go ahead and re-sterilize them and repackage them and restore them Thank you. And now I will be explaining the steam autoclave. The steam autoclave is the most commonly meth is the most common method used, and the it heats up to 250 degrees Celsius, and there's 50 pounds of pressure um, in the steam autoclave. But it's actually the heat and not the pressure that kills the microorganisms. And the steam autoclave looks like this. You have like those um, levels, sometimes there's two, sometimes there's four, sometimes there's six. Each autoclave is of course different. And the instruments that are going to be loaded into it are loaded into a um, autoclave pouch, a sterilization pouch. And you, we label these with their name and the date so we know if, um, they took them out too early we know um who processed them and so of course um we're still going to be wearing our ppes our mask our goggles our utility gloves and then our gown just to be safe of any sharp um of any sharp um instruments or any chemicals that are around us 
and we're going in the autoclave when we have the pouches ready to go we're gonna go ahead and start loading them but we're not gonna overload them too much and so the steam is able to um free flow around all the instruments and make sure that all the sides of the instruments get um get sterilized and once we have them loaded we're going to go ahead and put um add the distilled water if there isn't any and we're going to watch um the autoclave actually fill up a little bit there's um there's like a bottom right here and you'll see that part fill up with the water and once it's filled up we can go ahead and start getting it ready and this takes about 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes and we have to let it go for the whole 20 minutes if we cut it in half or we take them out too early they're not really con they're not considered sterilized and so we're gonna have to redo them all over again and always follow your manufacturer instructions of course don't um like i said each autoclave is not the same they're all different and so um just make sure of that of course and then set the controls to the time, the temperature, and then the pressure. And when everything is done, allow the instruments to dry and to cool down because they are coming basically out of a really hot oven so you can burn yourself if you're not wearing gloves. And also we dry, we, um, we, um, um, we storage them, sorry, we storage them also in a dry and cool place. Always use the ones, um, always do the, I'm sorry, always put the new sterilized packages in the back. Don't put them in the front so we can use the old ones first and then, of course, just, you know, rotate the cycle. And yeah, thank you.